Seasonal affective disorder, it's a real thing. This time of year, it's really common for people to start to feel that a little, some sadness coming on. They're, they're feeling lower, they're just down, kind of feeling that, that low grade depression coming on. If you go to your doctor, you might get a prescription for antidepressants. Those take three to six months to kick in, so that doesn't really help you in the now. But some things that can help you now would be vitamin D. If you haven't had your vitamin D levels checked, Honestly, from a functional perspective, you want to feel really good. It should be at like 70 to 90. Most adults can healthily supplement with 5,000 IUs per day. So that's a great recommendation. If you haven't been doing that, well, you need to because it's going to help your mood. It's antiviral in nature and it helps so many processes throughout your body. On top of that, we want to make sure that you're getting some exercise. Okay. I, you could just be walking. I don't care. 10 to 20 minutes a day is enough to start stimulating some of these antidepressive chemicals and anti-inflammatory effects. You have to look at your diet. A diet rich in fruits and vegetables has a lot of phytochemicals, which is anti-inflammatory in nature. Overall, an anti-inflammatory diet is going to have impact on your brain. Anything that increases the systemic inflammation in your body, processed foods, sugar, excess calories, excess body weight, processed seed oils, all of these things also increase inflammation in your brain, making you more prone to anxiety, depression, and seasonal affective disorder. Don't forget about community. We need to be in community with other people and we need to be around others. We need to have enriching friendships and family near us. So call a friend, meet somebody new. Try like an icebreaker topic, I don't care. Making friends this time of year, great thing to do.